Hey, what's up guys? Uh, there's gonna be like a couple of solutions and a quick video on how to fix your frame rates on maybe two monitors and fix your uh, why you fix your OBS on why you have dropped frames or you're lagging uh, for OBS and stuff like that. And it's not very crisp, it's not very clear. Um, uh, I'll just go and there's probably like two solutions. Um, one being uh, the NVIDIA, uh, the NVIDIA control panel, and then another would be a Elgato. So, if you want to have, if you want to record your games at 144 hertz or above, you might want to consider getting a capture card. It's cap capture cards are usually they they can be used for single PC setups and dual PC setups. So, I would recommend getting a Elgato capture card if you want to record and stream your gameplays at 144 hertz and the reason why you can't stream this, this is a big question the reason why you can't stream or you lag a lot when streaming is because if you have if you're in game like call of duty uh if you have your game uh, set up to 144 hertz in game and you're trying to stream from obs uh if you're trying to if you're trying to uh, stream from OBS, um, it's not going to work out because it's going to cut frames, drop frames, and all that. So basically, you want to. Uh, so, because the reason for that is because OBS is only streaming at 60 hertz, and it's or 60 frames basically, and it's just recording at 60 frames. So it's trying to keep up with your 144 hertz monitor, and that's just not going to work out. So it's just going to end up being laggy and very glitchy. But if you are one of those people who have two monitors, and uh let's say let's say you don't have let's say you have 144 hertz monitor which is your main monitor that you game on right and let's say if you have a second monitor which is a 75 hertz monitor or a 60 hertz monitor right they're the two big different hertz monitor right uh if you're if you're trying to record like from your second monitor your your 60 hertz monitor your 75 hertz monitor to your main monitor to your 144 hertz monitor or whatever uh it's not going to work out unless you change this one simple step which is um which is this if you go to nvidia gra uh graphic uh, control panel control panel oh my gosh uh and see this is my elgato this is not really a monitor I, this this is fake monitor blah, blah blah uh but this is my second monitor so i only have two monitors so this is my first, my main, and my second. So what you want to do with this is that you want to change your perform scaling on to GPU instead of display. If you have it dis on display, then that would cause that would be the reason why you're lagging and you're dropping frames in OBS. Um, and uh, like the other solution I, m I mentioned would be to buy an Elgato or ga a game capture card. Uh, which would take a lot of heat from your GPU and CPU. So if, if you want to record, if you want to play and record or stream at 144 hertz, I would recommend getting uh, a game capture card, which could be anything like an Elgato or some other. Me personally, I prefer Elgato. But so like I was saying, just basically just get that and you would be able to record your games at 144 hertz and stream your games at 144 hertz um it also just like depends on like your graphics card and stuff like that too like because i noticed that uh, obs does take a little bit of your frames when you're streaming so like if you're playing game and streaming at the same time it does take a little bit off your um a lot of uh, a little bit off of your frames when you're playing so i would also recommend getting like a strong graphics card for that reason too if you if you want to play at the desired hertz that you want so for me like 2060 super like the rtx 2060 super for me with my uh ryzen 7 uh 2700x uh, cpu so like uh, on average i would normally get 120 hertz 120 frames per second and uh and that's just like and then that's just me when i'm streaming but it would also drop down 100 110 to 90 sometimes but then go back up to 110 120 uh sometimes shoot up to 130 um but if i'm not streaming 
it would be like at 140 140 hertz to 130 hertz like average it's it's around that range but you would notice the difference when you're playing and it's not really a big it's not really a big difference but it does kind of bother me so uh but that being said like if you want to take a lot of that heat off your gpu and cpu when you're recording games and trying to stream at that at that rate so you i would honestly just recommend getting an elgato uh it does help a lot uh it does make your streams and recording a lot crispier your streams is just when you're streaming it will look pretty much like you're rec you're like recording at and or it just looks like you're streaming live like as in it's on point like whatever you're doing like if i move my mouse it would actually see it in that time but in reality it's actually just being slowed down a little bit it's being delayed by a little bit when you look at the streams so when you go live it's like delayed but anyway anyways but like that's just my personal opinion on uh on how to fix uh your streams and stuff so this is for the two monitors two different hertz monitors does make a difference and to fix that with the nvidia control panel and then um uh, the other solution, if you want to record uh, your 144 hertz, which is the Elgato capture card, so that's the second solution. And um, also, you want to look around too. Like, I'm not gonna do a bitrate video, uh, but like, it's because a lot of people have it around. Uh, the third solution would be also the bitrate. Um, or the third question or like third problem would be like should i try to fix a bit rate which one to use should i use the x264 or whatever or use uh, nvank um for me I i'd use nvank for my graphics card um uh, this is all for the settings on the uh obs and even streamlabs you know streamlabs is the same thing i think uh another one would be like another problem or like another solution would be like if you have an elgato uh i honestly would record on obs instead of streamlabs obs i don't know why but like i feel like there's a big difference between the two when recording because when i stream on obs the regular obs it's a lot better a lot crispier uh when i stream on streamlabs obs it's like i don't i don't it's like a little iffy to me sometimes it's a little scratchy but it could just be me i mean i use both um but as of right now i'm using obs so uh, if you have any questions, um, sorry, like, if, if, sorry if I didn't fix anything, but, like, this is just my personal opinion on how, how I was able to fix certain things. Um, and my personal, just personal opinion, personal experience, just, you know, just get, just get, like, if you have any questions, just drop a comment, uh, let me know. I'll probably be a help, if anything, uh, <laughs> so, you know, just... You know, if, if you like this video, if this video helps you, then, you know, just give, give it a like and subscribe. Uh, say thank you or something. <laughs> but, yeah.